again, if in example one and two, you have a problem that you can somehow rewrite, expand things through, simplify, somewhere so that the earlier, simpler properties apply, absolutely use those. But in examples three and four, there's going to be no way for us to rewrite or restructure these problems so that we can evaluate the derivatives using anything but the product rule that we've just introduced. So looking at example three, we can identify our first function as 4x and our second function as e to the x. That means that dg over dx will equal the derivative of 4x times e to the x plus 4x times the derivative of e to the x. So differentiating this will give us 4 e to the x plus 4x times the derivative of e to the x is going to be just e to the x. And then we can factor out what's common between those. So each of these terms has a 4 and an e to the x. So factoring out 4 e to the x gives us 4 e to the x times the quantity 1 plus x. So again, in this example, no way around having to use the product rule. And just as a demonstration, if we were to work this the wrong way, which it again would be the idea of just taking the derivative of the first function times the derivative of the second, we would end up with 4 e to the x. So if we evaluated that derivative incorrectly by again just differentiating the first function and the second function, multiplying those together, we get a result that's different than what we get from applying that product rule. So we have to keep in mind that correct procedure for taking the derivatives of products of two functions. So in example four, we have the same idea. We have the product of two functions, 5x cubed and the natural log of x. So in this case, our derivative becomes the derivative of 5x cubed times the natural log of x. plus 5x cubed times the derivative of the natural log of x. So differentiating will give us 15x squared natural log of x plus 5x cubed times 1 over x or 15x squared natural log of x plus one of our x's is going to cancel between the numerator and denominator, plus 5x squared, which means we can factor out a 5x squared times 3 natural log x plus 1. So whenever we want to take a derivative and we have the product of two functions, Again, check to see if you can distribute through or otherwise simplify or rework that expression to get back to something that allows our earlier properties to apply. Absolutely go that route. But when we have functions that we can't rework, or if you don't catch on to the fact that you could rewrite that somehow, then we need to apply the product rule, which is going to be a longer process since we have to take these two separate derivatives and write out that entire expression. But any other method, so for instance, taking the derivative of just the first function times the second function won't get us to that correct result. So in the cases where we can't rewrite an expression, the product rule is the approach that we'll have to use.